hi my name is Vishal in this video just have a look on how to model a screwdriver screwdriver is just a simple poly modeling exercise for the beginners to get some hands on experience on the basic tools of uh, blender software so what I've got right now is a default cube I'm selecting it and deleting it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, press shift a and then go to the mesh and then create a simple uh, cylinder so once I've got that I come here to the options below and then click there and then we have what I says 32 I'm going to uh, select that and press 20 there enter 20 so what that actually does is here if you see there are subdivisions and these are uh, 32 earlier I made it to 20 now select that uh, model I use a rotation by pressing R and then I'm going to press X for the axis you want to pick X Y Z can be used here I want to rotate in X so I'm pressing X and then I'm going to enter 90 and then you got the model rotation at 90 degrees so once that is done I'm going to press tab on the keyboard what that does is it will shift from the object mode to uh, edit mode like that So I'm going to select the model and press tab then press 3 then you got a face selection there. So I'm going to press alt E on the keyboard that will bring my extrude options here. In this I'm going to use extrude along the face normals and then just drag it like that. And then again I'm holding alt E extrude along normals and then you got the extrusion select here also alt e and then extrude it so once i've got this what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the faces so hold alt and click one of the face it will select the whole loops there so um, i'm going to hold shift and then alt then hold shift alt so i'll select all these faces I'm going to press Alt E to get extrude options and then slightly extrude it like that. So you need that first level of step there. And I'm going to select uh, the edge component by pressing 2 on the keyboard or you can switch here. So I'm holding Alt and click. And now I'm going to use the move tool and then just move it like that. Alt click alt click or shift alt for the second line and I'm going to use the scale tool and I'm going to scale it like that so you got that nice uh, step there I'm going to select the face component and then choose the move tool and I can maybe move like that okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the face here face loop by pressing alt and click and then I'm going to hold shift um, and then select the faces like that so I'm going to select two faces leave two faces and then select the next two and I'm going to select all the faces like that I need to select um, here also And now I'm pressing Alt E and then extrude it and then you should get that nice little step. Okay. Now once that is done, I'm going to select the edge component and then select these loops. I'm holding for the first time holding Alt to select the loop. Second time holding Shift Alt, Shift Alt, Shift Alt, Shift Alt. And then I'm just moving it. Nice. Now do the same thing. Alt, Shift, Alt, Shift, Alt. A 
like that then use a scale tool and then just scale it there you go and uh, I'm selecting the face, press E, S and then scale it. E, S. And then move. Select the face, E, S and then I'm I'm going to merge this last phase by pressing M on the keyboard and then you get this box then merge to the center and there merges so press 1 to select the vertex and then just slightly move it so I've got the model nice and clean select the face press E sorry select the face press E S for scale and then then select the face alt e extrude along normals and then inside and then select that face e s scale it so that select the face press m and merge to the center and i got this model now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select uh, this tool called uh, loop cut and slide control r is a keyboard so before going into that i select the model go to this modifiers and add subdivision surface and add two subdivisions okay i'll uh, now uh, select the model press tab press control R for the loop cut tool click and then add a line close to that control R click add a loop control R click loop control R click Control R click, Control R click, and then I'll switch off this wireframe so that you could see some basic shape there. I'm going to select uh, the loop and I'm going to move it closer and then I'm going to select this edges like that so I'll uh, enter to just to see if things are fine and neat select the model press tab control R click control R click Control R, click and slide. So you can just have a look on the model like that. So as I told you, it's a very definitely a beginner's model. Uh, just uh, good to, you know, explore the tools here. Very simple tools. 
so i'm going to press shift a then choose the cylinder and then uh, 20 is the subdivisions okay then i'm going to press r x 90 and then that model i'll move it out i'm going to use a scale tool and then i want to scale it like that fine now select the model press tab and then select the vertices and move it so press 3 select the face um, alt e extrude along the normals and then I'm going to use the scale tool scale it okay I just use a scale tool that should be fine I'm selecting that vertices and I'm using the scale tool. So just I've got this uh, faces here just I need to connect them so I'm going to use uh, uh, the component mode uh, press 3 and then I'm going to use uh, this tool from the face yeah knife topology tool I just select that click on the vertex point and then click on that right click click there click there right click 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 right click so once you uh, complete that operation right click if you don't do that you get that third line so to exit that right click now once the lines are placed hit enter then you get that now i can just switch off the visibility of this model and then uh, press 3 select the face extrude merge at center now that is once that is done here I'm going to the top view okay press 1 shift Z for the wireframe mode select both of them or maybe select all and then deselect the center one just give that nice uh, 
round shape once that is done press ctrl r press tab two tab two ctrl r Control R, click and then slide. Yes, it's all about adding loops. I'm going to add a loop here as well. bring the model back select that model add a modifier subdivision surface and add subdivisions of two um, a small issue I could see that I think somewhere I forgot to extrude and um, you know so there was some component issue going on here some face issue uh, so I can select that and delete the face and then recreate it yeah that's fixed so I've deleted that there's a face problem so I've deleted them and then I can switch off the wireframe press tab and there you go